friends, I am Shoham Bera, Senior Consultant Optometrist from India. Today I am going to talk to you about blue light. What is blue light and how can, could it affect our vision and can damage our vision or the pros and cons of blue light and how will... So friends, let's start it. Visible light is much more complex than you might think. Stepping outdoor into sunlight flipping on a wall switch indoors, turning your computer, phone or other digital device. All of these things results in your eyes being exposed to a variety of visible and sometimes invisible lights, rays that can have a range effects. Most people are aware that sunlight contains visible light rays and also invisible ultraviolet rays that can, that can tan or burn the skin. But what many don't know is that the visible light emitted by the sun compromises a range of different color light rays that contains different amount of energy. So friends, now the question is around what is blue light then? Sunlight contains red, orange, yellow, green and blue light rays and many sets of each of these colors depending on the energy and wavelength of this individual rays also called electromagnetic radiation. Combined the spectrum of colored light rays creates what we call white light or sunlight. Without getting into complicated physics, there is an inverse relationship between the wavelength of the light rays and the amount of energy they contain. Light rays that have relatively long wavelength contains less energy and those who shorter wavelengths have more energy. Rays on the red end of visible light spectrum have longer wavelength and therefore less energy. Rays on the blue end of the spectrum have shorter wavelength and more energy. The electromagnetic rays just beyond the rate of the visible light spectrum are called infrared. They are warming but invisible. The warming lamps you see keeping food warm at your local it will emit infrared radiation but this lamp also emit visible red light so people know they are on. The same is true for other type of heat lamps. On the other end of the visible light spectrum, blue light rays within the shortest wavelength and highest energy are sometimes called blue violet or blue violet light. This is why the visible electromagnetic rays just beyond the visible light spectrum are called ultraviolet radiation. Key points about blue light. Like ultraviolet radiation, visible blue light, the portion of the visible light spectrum with the shorter wavelength and highest energy has both benefit and danger. Here are important things you should know about blue light. First, blue light is everywhere. Sunlight is the main source of blue light. And being outdoor during daylight is where most of us get most of our exposure to it. But there are also many man-made indoor sources of blue light, including fluorescent and LED lighting and flat screen television. Most notably, the display screen of the computers, electronics, notebooks, smartphone, and other digital devices emit significant amount of blue light. The amount of HEV light this device emits is only a fraction of the emitted by the sun. But the amount of time people spend using this device and the proximity of the screen to the user's face have many eye specialists and other healthcare professionals concerned about possible long-term effect of blue light on eye health. Second, HEV light rays make the sky look blue. The short wavelength high energy light rays on the blue end of the visible light spectrum scattered more easily than other visible light rays when they strike air and water molecules in the atmosphere. The higher degree of scattering of these rays is what makes a cloudy sky looks blue. Third, the eye is not very good at blocking blue light. Anterior structure of the adult human eye, the cornea and the lens in front are very effective at blocking UV rays from reaching the light sensitive layer in the retina at the back of the eyeball. In fact, less than 1% of UV radiation from the sun 
reaches the retina even if you are not wearing any sunglasses. Keep in mind though that sunglasses that blocks 100% of UV are essential to protect this and other parts of the eye from damage that could lead to cataracts, snow violence, a pinguicula and or pterygium and even cancer. On the other hand, virtually visible blue light passes through the cornea and lens and reaches the retina. Fourth, blue light exposure may increase the risk of macular degeneration. The fact that blue light penetrates all the way to the retina, the inner lining of the back of the eye, is important because laboratory studies have shown that too much exposure to blue light can damage light sensitive cell in the retina that cause changes that resemble those of macular degeneration which can lead to permanent vision loss. Although more research is needed to determine how much natural and man-made blue light is. Too much blue light for the retina may eye care provider are concerned that the added blue light exposure from computer screen, smartphone and other digital device might increase a person's risk of macular de degeneration in later life. Fifth, blue light contributes to digital eye strain. Because short wavelength, high energy blue lights scatter more easily than other visible light. It is not easily focused when you are looking at a computer screen and other digital device, they emit significant amount of blue light. This unfocused visual noise reduces contrast and can contribute to digital eyes. Researchers have shown that lenses that block blue light with wavelength less than 450 nanometer, blue violet light, increased contrast significantly. Therefore, computer glasses with yellow tinted lenses may increase comfort when you are viewing digital device for extended period of time. Blue light, sixth, blue light protection may be even more important after cataract surgery. The lens in the adult human blocks nearly 100% of the sun's UV rays as part of the normal aging process. The eye's natural lenses eventually block some short wavelength blue light as well. The type of blue light most likely to cause damage to the retina and lead to macular degeneration and vision loss. If you have cataracts and are about to have cataract surgery, ask your eye surgeon or ophthalmologist what type of intraocular lens will be used to replace your cloudy natural lens and how much blue light protection the eye will provide. After cataract surgery, you might benefit from eyeglasses that have lenses with special blue light filter, especially if you spend long hours in front of a computer screen or using other digital devices. 7. Not all blue light is bad. So is all blue light bad for you? Why not block all blue light all the time? Bad idea? It's well documented that some blue light exposure is essential for good health. Researchers have shown that high energy visible light boosts alternates health memory and cognitive function and elevate moods. In fact, some type, something called light therapy used to treat seasonal affective disorder, a type of depression that related to change in season with symptoms usually being in the fall and, cognitive and continuing through winter. These light sources for this therapy emits bright white light that contains a significant amount of HEV blue light rays. Also, blue light is very important in regulating circadian rhythm, the body's natural wakefulness and sleep cycle. Exposure to blue light during daytime hours help maintain a healthful circadian rhythm, but too much blue light late at night reading a novel on a tablet, computer or e-reader at bedtime, for example, can disrupt this cycle potentially causing sleepless nights and daytime fatigue. Blue light filters and protective eyewear. If you are using your phone constantly, especially you use it primarily for texting, emailing and web browsing, 
A convenient way to reduce your blue light exposure is to blue light filter. These filters are available for smartphone, tablets and computer screen and prevent significant amount of blue light emitted from this device from reaching your eyes without affecting the visibility of the display. Some are made within thin tempered glass that also protect your device screen from scratches. As mentioned above, computer glasses also be helpful to reduce blue light exposure from computer and other digital devices. These special purpose glasses are available without an eyeglass prescription. If you have need, if you have no need you know, for vision correction or if you routinely wear contact lens to correct your eyesight or they can be specially prescribed by prescribed to optimize your vision specifically for the distance from which you view your device. If you have press biopia and routinely wear progressive lens or bifocal prescription computer glass with single vision lenses give you the additional benefit of much larger field of view for seeing your entire computer screen clearly. Keep in mind though that this type of computer eyewear is excessively exclusively for seeing objects within arm length and cannot be owned for driving or other distance vision lens. Also, a number of lens manufacturers have introduced special gear reducing anti-reflective coating that also block blue light from the both natural sunlight and digital device. You also may want to consider photochromic lenses which provides seamless protection from UV and blue light both indoor and outdoor and also automatically darken in response to UV rays outdoors to increase comfort or reduce skin. Ask your eye specialist or optician about which type of vision correction and lens feature best suit your needs for viewing your computer and other digital devices and protecting your eyes from this blue light. So friends, this is all about blue light. If you like our videos, please like us, share us and subscribe us. Bye. Stay safe, stay healthy.